Well, hi friends. I wanted to come on here um, and continue our series on fun fall eye looks. And um, the one we're gonna do today is called apple cider, which I think is so fun. Isn't that pretty? Just pretty shimmery, warm coppers and browns and all the things. So I've done one eye. And I'm going to let you walk with me through doing the second eye here. So I've done all my other makeup. And today I did something a little bit different with my brows. I used the Dark Blonde Volumizing Brow Tint by Mary Kay. Excuse Lou, she's having an issue with her ear itching. So she's currently moaning and wallowing on the ground like a stuck pig. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a tinted kind of like a brow gel with a little tiny brush and you just brush it up through your eyebrows. I like to brush them first with this eyeliner eyebrow brush. And then I like to brush them afterwards with this as well. But, um, this volumizing brow tint is nice because it kind of adds some thickness and texture to your brows. If you have a strong brow game, it also helps to hold everything in place, kind of like hairspray for your eyebrows. I do not have a strong brow game. Not only are they very thin and sparse, but they're completely translucent as in they have no color. So if I don't do something to my brows, there's nothing there. I mean, there's hair there, but it's literally clear. So, Brows are everything. Brows, once I learned to do brows, it was a game changer. Sorry, I'm not trying to flash all. I just should have adjusted my little robe a little bit better before I got started. Okay, here we go. This is a G-rated video. All right, I'm going to grab my favorite. It's time to pull a new one of these, y'all. It's getting, getting kind of low. Um, my favorite liquid eyeshadow in Light Beam, and you can either use a cream brush or you can just use your finger. And that's easy, so that's what we're going to do. And I'm just gonna pat this all over the eyelid, and I'm even okay that it's going just a little bit underneath there because you want that bright light shimmer in that center corner to really open up your eye. And I love this product because it has eye primer built right in it. So you don't need to use an additional primer. It's perfect way, it's a perfect way to start um, your look. And then I'm gonna show you again these colors and go through them with you. We have Cinnabar, which is kind of a warm, almost reddish undertone brown, um, very chestnutty. And then Shiny Penny, which is this beautiful coppery, shimmery color. Then we have a matte color called Sand Castle, which is just kind of a matte sandy beige. And then Gold Status, which is shimmery gold, which is gonna make everything pop. So we're gonna start over here. And this is a little bit different way I've been doing my eyes lately. Um, normally I start with the base and then layer, but lately i um, been watching some other tutorials and watching um, them kind of start with this deeper, darker color, just kind of patting it into this outer crease area right here and then beginning to just gently blend and then bringing the light colors kind of layering in the center of the eye on top in case you need to do any toning down. And then you know you grab a clean blending brush and just really, you're just really putting some pretty, let me get a little bit more of this cinnabar and just really depositing it in that outer corner, almost just kind of back and forth, a little bit of a crease motion. You can bring it kind of right on that outer, outer edge as well. Then what you're gonna do is clean your clean your brush. You know, I got my little scratchy pad. I think you can probably get these on Amazon, little, little brush cleaners. What you do is you run your brush over that and it takes all the eyeshadow out so that you're starting with a clean brush next. Then I'm gonna pick up some of this shiny penny, this beautiful shimmery coppery color. And basically I'm just gonna kind of go over what I just did 
almost just kind of layering over that cinnabar just to bring in and kind of bring it, kind of pull it into that crease area. Just to bring in that beautiful, warm, shimmery, coppery color. I think that's so pretty. I like that. Then, cleaning the brush, I'm going to get the Sandcastle, which is our matte color. And I'm just going to bring it all on the lid and definitely up into this inner inner corner and inner area just to kind of brighten brighten the eye and then I'm going to get the gold status and place it on top so that we make it shimmery you don't always have to do shimmery but something called apple cider or spice cider it just kind of screams shimmery to me so we want that okay then we're going to clean that brush and we're going to come back and we're really just going to blend all of this because we want it all to look seamless. Oh, and one more thing. You can come up here with a little bit of that sand castle. You can even do the, the gold status if you want, but I'm going to leave that matte right there because I don't, I don't really want to call um, a lot of attention to that, but I'm just going to come back in here and blend. And then if you want to, once you blend everything, if you feel like you just want to see a little more of that copper, just place a little bit more there. And then even that cinnabar on the outer edge, the more you layer, um, the more dramatic that it gets. So whether you're doing this for daytime or evening, you might want to go a little more subtle in the daytime for just more of a natural look. Um, and then you can... You can build it up for evening time. Then we're gonna take our um, smudger brush and pick up this cinnabar, and we're just gonna smudge it right underneath the lash line there, just to kind of tie the top and bottom together. And then, where are you, where are you? I know I picked you up. Here you are, gonna get my deep brown eyeliner and just anchoring that outer corner not pulling and tugging but just anchoring I'm going to do little light feathery strokes little dashes along my lash line all the way from corner to corner y'all know the deal from corner to corner and then you can always come back through and just kind of just kind of set it and buff it out. Okay, now she's biting her toenails. Do y'all have a psycho dog like I do? She's so weird. Okay, and I've already curled my eyelashes. Y'all know, go in with the Mary Kay eyelash curler crimp. Walk out a little crimp. Walk out, walk out a little crimp. Oh, got a little eyelash right there. Got that. Then mascara. Mascara is everything. And I'm going to use our Fanorama mascara. This is my daily go-to. Has this cool little brush, oh, cool little brush. It's an hourglass shape and little fan tip on the end. And it really allows you to get up in there and get coat every little lash. So I start at the base and kind of wiggle out. Start at the base and wiggle out. Start at the base and wiggle out. I think Lulu is telling me she needs me to take her to get her nails clipped. She's literally laying here biting her nails. So weird. I love her, but she is weird. Okay. Then, gently with this little fan tip, I'm going to come over here and get these little sparse baby eyelashes if you have thick wonderful eyelashes then just be thankful but we can kind of get that illusion build that illusion that's what makeup is all about both good grief Lou enhancer and enhancing your own natural beautiful features but also sometimes doing a little bit of highlighting and contouring and a little bit of illusion magic work to make your face, you know, seem a little bit more symmetrical sometimes. Okay, isn't that pretty?
those look even? I think so. Then, let me tell you what I did on my lips. This is so fun. First, I, I well, first I did lip primer, which is a must. It is absolutely, um, prime your lips with this first. Um, Time-wise, age-fighting lip primer, it just provides a base for all of your lip products so they stay on longer. Um, it also helps with bleeding and feathering and fading outside the lines and with those little fine lines that we get around our lips with. Now she's gagging and mm, this is entertaining. Sorry, y'all. Hope you're not eating. We'll call this one sound effects with Lou. Anyway, lip liner, nude lip liner. I go in and define the V in the top lip and then little strokes down around. And then what I'm using today is our delicious Vinyl Shine Liquid Lip Set, part of our holiday collection. Um, I sold out of these yesterday at my open house, but I know there's more people coming today, tomorrow, and Sunday that are going to want them. So I luckily looked on the Mary Kay website, and they're still available, so I'm going to order a couple more sets. So by golly, if y'all love these, you better reach out and let me know, because once they sell out, they're gone. <laughs> So that's the thing about limited edition. They're fun. Um, they kind of allow you to spice up your makeup wardrobe with something seasonal and fun. But then, you know, they're not available in our regular line. But this is the neutral one. I'm wearing the brown. I like to layer the brown color first. And then I like to take this nude color and kind of layer it on over the top. It just tones it down a little since I'm pretty fair. Isn't that pretty? And then just for some sparkle and shimmer and sign to go with our apple cider, spice cider look, this is Beach Bronze Mary Kay Nourishine Lip Gloss. Isn't it pretty? And it just has a little bit of kind of a goldy bronzy shimmer which I think is so pretty that just kind of sets off the look and then of course we want to set everything with finishing spray mm, that just sets all your makeup locks it in keeps it from going anywhere keeps you from looking shiny um, and I think today I have shy blush on my cheeks and a little bit of bronzer around the edge of my face so that's my look today. It's called um, Apple Cider. I hope you love it. I will, down in the description, I will list all the colors and shades and you can shop with me if I am your beauty consultant or if you don't have a beauty consultant, you're welcome to go on my website and register and place an order and I, I would, it'd be my pleasure to take care of you. And um, we'll continue with probably at least one more of these fall um, makeup looks just to kind of help you shake up your makeup wardrobe this season. All right, y'all got to go get ready for day two of my holiday open house. If you haven't watched my video with my holiday gift sets, please do that. And, um, it, I would appreciate so much you doing some of your holiday shopping with me and my small business this year. I've got some really cute gift sets that every girl would love every age, every price range, and um, I give wrap and ship for free, which you don't always get, so um, I would love to help take care of you. All right, you guys have a great day. It's beautiful here, and um, I'm excited. Bye. Oh, let me just show you this crazy dog, just so you can put a visual to it. Lulu, Lulu, can you say hi? Hi. Mm-hmm. She's like, whatever, whatever, mom. Okay, bye, guys.